Good day everyone. You're welcome to Open Heaven Devotional Review for today, Tuesday the 28th of September 2021. I'm Kenny Demadi Open Heavens is authored by Daddy in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you for it today. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, that as we learn at your feet today, you will teach us yourself. You give us your understanding of your word, and your word will indeed profit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is the ways of God. The ways of God. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 103 verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Our Bible reading is taken from Deuteronomy 8 verse 1 to 6. All, all the commandments which I command thee this day, Shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers? And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord God led thee those forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know that to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his command or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. And feed thee with manna, which thou knowest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by the very word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy food swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. Walking with God requires knowing his ways. However, his ways are more often not our ways. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. A memory verse gives us food for thought when it says, He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Psalm 103 verse 7. Moses knew God's ways, but the children of Israel knew only his acts. Through the miracles they experienced and enjoyed. The lesson here is that it is more blessed to know the ways of God. It is more important to know God's mind and accept his will than merely seeking miracles. The sad thing about miracle seekers is that they are not always stable, even with what they experience. The children of Israel are a typical example. In our Bible reading today, God says that his people should remember all the ways in which he led them for 40 years. He gave them food and water that they did not labor for by his spoken word. Even their clothes and sandals did not wear out. Deuteronomy 8, 3-4 Today's Bible reading shows that people of God should not obey him only because of what they would eat or drink. Many today are on their way to hell because of what they would eat, drink or put on. This is the truth that Jesus knew and quoted victoriously when the devil wanted to trap him through food in Luke 4 verse 4. And Jesus answered him saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Jesus taught his disciples, reassuring them that as long as they walked with God through his words, all their needs would be met. He said in Matthew 6 verse 25, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought of your life. What shall ye eat, or what shall ye drink, nor yet for your body? What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment. Beloved, I encourage you to begin to walk with God according to his word from today, and you will experience his mighty benevolence in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is the ways of God. The ways of God. 
and like we've been told yesterday we spoke about if you would walk with god and we're told that walking with god is highly rewarding and he spoke about we having perfect obedience if we need to walk with god god likewise today for us to walk with god it also requires us knowing the ways of god we could tell that moses walked with god indeed and because he knew the ways of God, he was different from the other Israelites. All the all, all Israelites knew where his acts, that is his miracles, that maybe they enjoyed his miracles, they experienced it. But Moses knew beyond that, and that is knowing the ways of God. Moses knew beyond that, he knew the core God himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His ways, and like we have been told, that his ways are more often not our own ways. Like he said in Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 8 to 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. If his thoughts are not the same as ours, and his ways are not the same as ours, then it is important for us to know his ways then we must have intimate relationship with him praise the lord hallelujah it could it was obvious that abraham had knew god's ways god said will i do this and not tell will i destroy this particular place and not tell my friend and he told him that is somebody that works with god that is somebody that knows his way that knows god's ways he has over time worked with god and god would speak intimately with him if we look at the Bible verse we read yesterday, the, the Deuteronomy 5, the 30 to 33, in the, in the 30, he said, Go say to them, get you into your tents again. Well, after I have told the Israelites to go into their tents, then he started speaking to Moses. He said, Well, for thee, stand out here by me, and I will speak unto thee all my commandments. So Moses was different. He stood out. So that is, even in our work with God, it is not enough to be just Christians. But we do not know the Christ that, that we are being called, that we are being son named with. It is not enough for you to say you are a child, you are a child of God, you go to church. But you, are, you do not even know the acts and the ways of church. You are not even active. You have to know that is no, you, are, you can't afford to just say you are Christ-like. But you do not know the ways of God. It is important that you have intimate relationship with him that he could call you aside and speak to you praise the lord hallelujah it was recorded just like we read yesterday that enoch walked with god enoch had relationship with god that is it he knew the ways of god you knowing the ways of god is having relationship with him like we could tell even from that deuteronomy that moses had relationship with him he did not just know him according to his to to the miracles he does according to the miracles he has enjoyed but he knew him beyond that just like we have been told today that it is more important to know god's mind and accept his will than merely seeking miracles if you know god's mind if you know his will it is more important if we look at it we spoke about adam and eve being tempted and at the end of the day they lost their right. It became a, because they did not know the ways of God. If we look at in the aspect of Jesus, Jesus was able to quote the Bible victoriously, like we we're told. That particular Bible, part of what we read, because he knew his father. He, he worked, he, you know, the ways of God, his father, he knew. And he was able to say, No, this is what the word of God has said concerning this thing you have said. So it is important so that we will not even fall into temptation. Paul and Silas, they were in prison. These are the people that it is even because of the ministry that they were thrown in prison. Some people, because they did not know the ways of God, they would have been cursing. But these ones are singing praises unto God because they know the ways of God. Daniel said, I will not bow. If God will rescue me, I will not bow. If he rescue me. And that is how you can live a victorious life. And that is when we talk about walking with God. And that is when the reward of walking with God can be our portion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God should not, like we are told today, that today's Bible reading shows that the people of God should not obey Him only because of what they will eat or drink. 
But then, because of what they will eat, many today, they said, we are told that a lot of people, because of what they will eat and drink, they are already on their way to hell. May that not be our portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are already into the trap that the devil has set for them. And this is because they, are, they, are not, they do not know the ways of God. They are only limiting themselves. They, they, li they have limited the ways of God based on what they will eat and drink. And when they cannot do that for them, when it seems like it is not coming, they find alternative. May this not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Like we have been told that miracle seekers are never stable. And that is why temptation comes easily. They will find another way out. Immediately the devil will tell them and they are on their way, like our daddy has told, on their way to hell. This will not be a portion in Jesus' name. We are told that Jesus taught his disciples, reassuring them that as long as they walk with God, as long as you have intimate relationship with him, as long as you are committed to knowing him and knowing his ways, that his word and all, the, as long as they are committed, as long as they walk with God, through his words, through knowing him, all their needs will be met. Just like he said in Matthew 6 verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought of your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, like that is encouraging us, I'm also encouraging you and I. I encourage you to begin to walk with God according to His word today. Walking with God and knowing His way is knowing His word. Walk according to His word. And you cannot walk according to His word if you do not know His word. It is high time you first. It is high time you hunger for his word. It is high time that you seek that knowledge through the word of God. And, and you will experience his almighty benevolence in the name of Jesus. And just like he spoke to Moses, that if he will do all that, he said that ye may live and that it may be well with you and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. So everything that the Lord will give unto you, you will enjoy. And it will give prosperity, it will give peace, it will give longevity of life. I pray that this and much more will be your portion and my portion, even as we, we seek his ways and as we walk with him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Amen. <music>